mwili wa binadamu huwa na mabadiliko mengi sana na baadhi ya mabadiliko hayo yaweza kudhuru afya hasa yasiposhughulikiwa Upasuaji umetumika sana kurekebisha viungo vya mwili ambavyo vimeadhiriwa na magonjwa kama vile saratani. Tulipoingia katika hospitali ya Sajudam, tulipata upasuaji ukiendelea kutoa chembe chembe za saratani kwenye mguu wa mgonjwa mmoja. Shughuli zilizoendelea kwa takriban dakika 30. Shed malignant melanoma that is a type of uh, skin cancer evolving at all. So sometimes you are forced to remove that toe. But the, the, that is the easier part because after you remove that toe then you have to reconstruct and give us something that resembles a toe. Baadaye tulikutana na wagonjwa ambao walifanyiwa upasuaji na kwa sasa wamepata nafuu baadhi yao wakiwa wameogua kwa takriban miaka kumi. Nikaanza kutibiwa hicho kidoda kiraka hiyo ikatolewa kwa hiyo mguu kwa idhai. Alafu ndio ikaenda ikafunikwa. Mguu ilikuwa imekaa na kidoda kwa miaka 13. Veins hazikuwa zinapeleka damu vizuri. Ikasemekana mguu imeoza chini na imeoza juu. Kwa hivyo itakatwa. Hali ya Lucy ambaye jina lake halisi tumelibana ilikuwa tofauti. Hali yake iliwafanya wengi wa mtenge katika jamii tangu alipokuwa na miaka kumi na mitatu kwani matiti yake yalikuwa kubwa zaidi kupita kiasi hali iliyomsababisha kuwa na maumivu kwenye uti wa mgongo Mine was not really a health problem it was i had this uh, condition called gigostomastia it's a condition where you, you have excess Uh, breast i couldn't wear something that was tight because everyone was looking up to my boobs like hey there like some people especially at work they used to comment oh, you have big boobs as if i don't know the majority of our ladies have enlarged breast which causes issues neck pain back pain they can't exercise they can't walk so you have to reduce when you do breast reduction with a lift so that they can be able to do their normal activities Wengi wamebadilisha mili yao kutumia kemikali zinazodhuru afya ya wanadamu. Lakini katika upasuaji huu ni mafuta asili ya mwili ndiyo yatumika kwa hivyo hauna madhara yoyote mwilini. Gold was you say fat is gold because you do for majority of these cases. For example when you are doing uh, when you want to reverse aging, we do using other fillers, you have a fat can be on your arms or your tummy, you process into your gel. Then that gel you inject certain volumes a different part of your face just to give you a youthful look. Kuna aina nyingi ya upasuaji anavyoeleza daktari. Plastic surgery actually entails surgery from head to toe. Uh, for instance for head we do hair transplant, hair restoration, surgical and surgical uh, procedures. Then we come to face There are many procedures you can do on your face from your eyebrow you do brow lift you do botox and fillers we do reconstruction for eyelid uh, eyelid surgery blepharoplasty then you come to do facelift which can be thread facelift or standard facelift or the fat that you've gotten from your lipo you can add on your butt uh, majority of them they just want either you add or you lift kisha tunakutana na daktari John Mburu ambaye anatuelezea zaidi kuhusu utunzaji wa nywele sekta ambayo amebobea sana All of us we born with hair we lose hair sometimes if you don't take good care of it and you don't need to go out of your way just to maintain your hair as long as you eat healthy and your body is good and then you use good products on your hair then you can have your hair don't disturb it now a man that is more genetic call that is hered it's caused by heredity factors that's what you call male pattern so actually what happens normal hairs they start shrinking they start miniaturizing they get smaller smaller until they become invisible and actually it happens only on the upper part we reverse the process where we now start to lengthen the hair and you do that by a process we call PRP that is platelet rich plasma kando na upasuaji madaktari humu nchini wanatarajia kufanya uhamisho wa sehemu za mwili kama vile moyo na mapafu kwani kwa sasa sheria ya Kenya bado hairuhusu upasuaji wa aina hiyo do you are thinking of doing a penal transplant you know yeah, yeah. penal transplant 
you will do it maybe by next year. We are waiting for legislation and for donor. There's a, there's a patient who was attacked and now the pain is thrown in, in a toilet. Afya ya wengi miadhariwa na kemikali zinazotumika kubadilisha maumbile hasa kwa kinadada. Cha kustajabisha ni kwamba wengi hawajui madhara wanayoleta mwilini. That's a big problem that we get because you find someone who has come who has done uh, use chemicals. So when you want to do this procedure their skin is very thin and very I mean and even the healing would be a problem. So what we do actually is give them supplements to try and build back their skin. What I can say about the increment of the using the pill for me is not advisable kabisa. I like natural beauty, natural lips, natural boobs. Yani they make, they make me feel good. Kando na kutumika katika sekta ya mapambo. Upasuaji umetumika sana kuokoa maisha ya wengi. Na kwa sasa, iwapo msuada uliopo bungeni ambao itaruhusu ubalilishaji wa viungo vya mwili itapitishwa. Basi itakuwa ni nafu kwa madaktari pamoja na wagonjwa wa humu nchini. Kwa ni hatua hii, itakoa maisha ya wengi. Lydia Okeo, KUTV, Nairobi.